Okay, now we're going to talk about the aux section and the group assignation. I have auxes 1 through 8 here. I can toggle to 9 to 16 and back to 1 through 8 from here. I switch the auxes on and off here, up and down like so. And you can see when the auxes are on, you have green lights here, and when they're off, it's empty, just showing the ultimate value. All of this information is detailed in the software as well. Let's go to 9 through 16. These are stereo, we can see from the GUI and from the little orange light between the encoders. So we have gain on the left, pan on the right. We need two encoders to control the stereo aux on the profile. On off by pressing on top of the gain encoder, and then the right hand encoder will change the pan value for that aux. So four stereo auxes from this section. Next to the auxes, we assign to the groups from these switches. So we have auxes 1 to 8, 9 to 16, then we assign the selected channel to groups like this, group 1, group 2, group 3. By default, all of the auxes in a profile are set to post. Pre is a software only function. You can see me toggling between pre and post using a mouse in the software. I'm currently doing this on a per channel basis. If I want to send all of the input channels pre to a specific aux, I select all of the input channels by double clicking one of the numbers below the faders and then changing the status of that aux from post to pre. I can now exit multi-select and aux1 is pre for every channel. Let's see how that is on a 24C. Okay, I'm going to deal with a specific channel and these are the auxes for that channel. 1 through 32, on the next page, 33 through 64, and on the final page I have my 16 group assignations. Let's go back to the first page of auxes. So on off is by pressing on top of the encoder here. You can see it changing in the OLED above. The donut shape fills in. And we can see the level going up as I turn the encoder. The in switch toggles each aux send between pre and post. So you can clearly see that these three sends are on. They have levels send into them. And the green light in the in switch means that they're pre fit send. I use a single encoder to control the stereo aux. Press the select to get to the pan, press it again to get to the send. Level, press the select, pan. So level, press select, now I have pan. You've probably noticed that the auxes turn on automatically as I turn them up and off as I turn them down. That's because I made an event specifically to do this. You can find the details in a video we made earlier. Let's have a look at group assignation on the SXL. First off, we'll go to the last page by pressing the third mix switch. And here are my 16 groups. And I can simply send the selected channel to the groups from these encoders. Also, on the 24C, I can navigate between the different pages of the bus assignment and aux sense by using the central touchscreen in the middle of the desk. Here I have 1 to 32, 33 to 64, back to 1 to 32. And just to remind you, because I can have a stereo aux send on each encoder, I can actually have up to 32 stereo encoders on the first page. So I can use select switch to toggle between the pan and the send really quickly and conveniently. So that's it. That's the aux send and group assignation on the SXL.